You need to customize the Excel spreadsheet before you publish it on the site. To customize the display of the available spreadsheet, you need to open Microsoft Office Excel 2007. You, you can open an existing spreadsheet template or create a new spreadsheet. For example, you can open report.xls from the local machine. Now create a named range. You can provide specific names to the selected ranges related to customer details. These named ranges can then be published on the site. To enable visibility for the named ranges, you can hide or unhide rows and columns. You can modify the settings of hide and unhide later if required. Now publish the spreadsheet. There are three options available for publishing. Excel Services, Document Management Server, and Document Workspace. You can use the Excel Services option for publishing an Excel spreadsheet to share it over a network or a file server. You can use the Document Management Server option for publishing the spreadsheet to the data repository. By using the Document Workspace option, you can keep the published documents synchronized with the local copy of the documents. When you select the Excel Services option for publishing the spreadsheet, you can use the Show and Parameters tab to specify specific sheets and cells that need to be displayed on the site. By using these tabs, you can control the data that is displayed from the spreadsheet. Now specify the document library to which the Excel spreadsheet will be uploaded on the SharePoint site. You can check in the spreadsheet to the document library. Select the Edit Offline option that allows you to edit the document even when you are not connected to the SharePoint server or network. Modify the cells of the spreadsheet as required. You can check in the spreadsheet with the changes or select not to update the document in the document library. Now open the SharePoint site to which you just published the Excel spreadsheet with the credentials. Open the Document Center site and edit the Documents page to add required web parts. You can display the Excel spreadsheet on the site as an Excel Web Access web part. Use the Add a Web Part option to add an Excel Web Access web part to the page and configure it to display the Excel spreadsheet you just published. A web part page is a collection of web parts that combines list data, timely information, or graphics. The Excel spreadsheet can be configured as a web part for all users or specific users. You need to open the tool pane to browse to the Excel spreadsheet. Finally, display the spreadsheet that contains the named ranges as a web part on the SharePoint site. You can configure the web part to include interactivity by the users if required.